Welcome to Computer Keys Tutorials. This video will demonstrate how to use K-Link, the newest product package in the Computer Keys arsenal. K-Link provides companies with all the necessary tools to manage and host a secure content delivery service on the IBM i. Much like online banking, K-Link allows users to register their own online accounts and then log in to retrieve documents that have been made available to them on the host company's integrated file system, or IFS. K-Link comes with two servers. The first is an employee server, where your employees can use their IBM i username and password to log in and view the IFS with the same authority as at their workstation. And the second is the customer server, where users logging in will be isolated within a specified directory in the IFS and only shown private content that has been placed in their individual customer folders, or public content that has been placed into folders designated as public. You can start or stop either server from the K-Link menu. Item 31 brings up the K-Link setup screen, where you can configure the servers. Here, you can enter your company's name and configure the root and default IFS directories for both the employees and customers server. The root directory in this context means the directory that K-Link will restrict all users access to. No one logging into K-Link from the outside will be able to access anything beyond this directory. This is also where you can turn on a secure sockets layer, or SSL, if you wish to add more security to the server's connections. You may also turn on logging and define what type of entries are recorded in the user log file. You can choose to record only invalid sign-on attempts, record all sign-on attempts, or even record all files that are viewed along with sign-on and account maintenance events in order to get a full picture of how your K-Link service is being used. Below that, you may enter a value for how long a user can remain inactive before a session timeout occurs and the user is forced to log back in. If you page down, you will be able to define the names of public directories for the customer's server. Any files within directories you list here will be visible to all customers that log into your K-Link server. All other directories will be considered private and can only be accessed by a user that has that specific link added to their online account. Next, you can select yes or no for allowing online registration. If you say no, you will have to provide login information to your customers manually. Online registration allows customers to create their own online accounts and asks them to answer validation questions, which you create for them in this section. You must try to ask questions that can only be answered by the user. As an example, we could ask, what is the last five digits of your IBM i serial number? And what is your customer number? K-Link will use this information to verify the user's identity from your customer files. If confirmed, the customer number requested will be added as a link to their account, which will give them access to their private data. If you page down again, you will find spots to define security questions for your users. During the registration process, users can select to answer one of the questions you provide here, or they can fill in a unique question of their own. If they forget their password, the user will be able to answer this security question to have their password automatically reset. Once your servers are running, users will be able to retrieve documents such as invoices or product manuals directly on any device with an internet browser. I'll demonstrate how a customer would connect to your server. I'm opening up a browser and typing in the address and port of a sample server. From here, the user can log in or click New User to create a new online account by filling out the validation questions that you defined for K-Link. Their answers are sent through a validation program, and if accepted, the user will get a link added to their account. Once they have an account, they log in from the previous screen and will have access to the files and directories that they are authorized to. Here are the public directories that we defined in the setup. On the IFS, the invoices directory has a bunch of private directories within it, but here, for this particular logged in customer, it only displays the one private directory that they have an authorized link to. Never again will customers have to ask for invoices or shipping documents to be resent. They can all be archived here for everyone's convenience, along with any other documents that you wish to make available. Everything can now be securely and directly delivered from your IFS to your customers' computers or mobile devices 24-7 on a user-initiated basis. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. 
you can visit us at computerkeys.com to download free 30-day trials of any of our complete software packages.